Hello everyone, balik paling karonya sama kecil itu Wong Jowo in not a let's play but rather an unboxing of PlayStation Vita utawa dari mono Mass of Deception yeah, I just got this game uh, earlier this evening and yeah uh, this game is really really rare I mean uh, yeah even the shop that I asked for uh, didn't have this until until today uh, didn't have this game until today so By the way, I'm eating right now, and that's my drink, and my food will come later. Uh, yeah, so they have to search all over the place uh, for this particular game, and they only got one, and I managed to buy it. Yay! And at first when I saw the price tag, I was like, what? Why is so... Uh, so expensive for a Vita game, but it turns out that this is a launch edition. It includes 50 page art book and a collector slipcase. Yeah, I can consider myself lucky here, but uh, since this is a collector's one and I don't want to open this by myself. Uh, I decided to do this unboxing video. So yeah, without further ado, let's tear this open. Damn. Very, very difficult. And I don't have any nails on my finger. All right, and here it is. Oh, this is a cardboard sleeve, and inside this sleeve is wow, wow, this is this is special. This is special. Yeah, the back side. Oh yeah, by the way, this is the back side of the slip cover. And this is the inner box. They got the title on the side. Uh, nothing but disclaimer on the back. And yeah, there, they got no cover, but they got this. Let's do this. Alright, that's the cover. Uh, let me get out. Get a demo. Mm, I have to slide it out. And here it is. The actual game. The Tawareru Mono. For PlayStation 3. And here is the uh, compendium art book and the back side and what inside is content, uh, the world explanation, characters, background and artworks including some sketches. Like 
this is basically the season one of the anime. Alright, so that is the book and this is the actual game. And again, it's covered in plastic, so I need to open this with only one hand. Ah, damn it, stupid plastic. Sometimes plastic plastic cases like this are easy to open. Sometimes difficult. Like the case with PlayStation 3 games, usually is difficult, but this one is pretty easy. And here it is, the the cartridge. So yeah, I'll just put this back in its place uh, before I set up my Vita to play it for the first time. I, I really, really want to play this actually. I really, really want to play, uh, I mean do a let's play of this. Actually, I really, really want to do a let's play of this game. But as for now, I don't know how to capture gameplay from PlayStation Vita, so yeah, this video will just be a first time trial. So I'll set up my best PlayStation Vita for a moment and I'll meet you after everything is set up. Okay, so here it is in my Vita and this is the, ah, the, upside down. the game. I'll just insert this into the cartridge slot. And it turns to Toki then. Oops! Where's the volume button for this? Okay. Some of the the opening credit will actually be removed uh, to uh, avoid any strike. So please bear with it. I really love Otawari Romono. Uh, I, I, I first know this title from uh, from the first anime, the first season of the anime. And I love this very much. Love this very much. And, uh, after that, I haven't played the first game yet. But I watched season 2 of the anime and, and hearing that the game is finally in English, I decided to buy it. Uh, there's no uh, voice setting, so I am assuming that this game got only one type of voice, which is Japanese voice. It's a new game with no much of a difficulty. You can see my hands and you can see my phone. Yeah, 
this pretty much the first episode of the anime. Thank you. And my food is ready. Some indomie. Sounds like a Hatsune Miku or something. It does pretty good over there. Anatani, Yoki, Nathan, I am sorry everyone for cutting this video short. There are some problem with my video editing program. For some reason it didn't load the video properly so uh, the pacing of the video and the audio was in chaos. And I have to do some heavy adjustment on it. Maybe you'll notice that there are some discrepancies between the audio and the video uh, in this particular piece. And at the very end of the video, I found out that uh, the video itself was cut short. It, yeah, like I said, it didn't load properly. And this is, has already happened several times in the past. It didn't really bother me before, so I don't know why this is happening now. Uh, I'm using Lightworks as my video editing program, by the way. And I'm thinking of replacing it with something more reliable, maybe... Adobe Premiere or uh, I heard that uh, Sony has also some uh, powerful video editing software but I haven't checked it but the problem is uh, so far this is the only legally free video editing software that I can find at the moment so sadly I'm stuck with this dang it so anyway that's it for the unboxing of Utawareru Mono Mass of Deception. Thank you so much everyone for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video if you like it. Leave any comments in the comment section below and we'll meet again in the next video. Bon